welcome to our second story time this week and again we'll be continuing with our read for, reading for enter cecile from yesterday's video with three more stories we have got for you today we have got the seas that was written and illustrated by moragu we have got several and pat and that was written and illustrated by Emily Gravick. And we have got Colin and Lee, Carriage from Tea. And again, that was written and illustrated by Morag Hood. All the books were published by Two Hoots Books. So we'd like to thank Two Hoots and their authors and illustrators for letting us use the stories today. All our books today are about different kinds of friends. So we'll see what we get up to in these ones. Let's start with the seas. Sorry, I think I called it the two seas earlier. It's called, just called seas. <laughs> I keep calling it the two seas. And that was written and illustrated by Morag Hood. Shall we see what happens in this one? Oh, look. We've got a puffin. Look, there's a puffin. Hello. here first by one page I am Steve you can be Steve the second I am Steve the first and I'll prove it when was your birthday the 6th of March haha ha, I'm older than you I am Steve I am the greatest getting a bit upset. I'm wiser. I'm taller. How many fish can you catch? More than you. I am the champion of seas. The steediest seas. I am the fastest, the strongest, the best, the one and only. I am Steve. You've got weird feet. say mean things to each other, which I think we should say now. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. No doubt. Here you go, Steve. Thanks, Steve. See, we've made up. We can both be Steve. We both are Steve. We've got to play a game of ten pin bowling. Do you think we'll be friends with Steve or do you think we'll be mean to Steve? I think we've learned. I think we'll be best friends, all three Steves. Shall we do another story? This one is called Cyril and Pat. And it's written and illustrated by Emily Gravick. Lake Park only had one squirrel. All alone and sad. Oh, poor Cyril. Until one morning he met Pat, his new best friend, a big grey squirrel, just like me. Hmm. Pat and Cyril spent each day thinking up good games to play. They like to put on puppet shows. And test how fast the skateboard goes. Yee! Their favourite games were 
hide and seek. Oh, I wonder where Pat hide in. Can anybody see? Can see? Oh, can you see what's in here? And one that they call Pigeon Sneak. Oh, shh. Look at what the pigeons. Boo! Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are great. Your friends are a real joker. <laughs> At lunchtime when the ducks were fed, Pat jumped in and took some bread. Yuck, took some bread. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are brilliant sharer. In the bread, but I don't think the ducks are too happy. And when they both got chased by Slim and the puppy dog together, they outwitted him. Look, and they can't get them. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are clever squirrel, and you can't catch us, shouted Cyril. Pat tried to earn a treat like Cyril could by looking sweet, but no one threw a treat for Pat. Err, Mum, I saw a great big rat. Rat? Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but dirty rat. Oh nice. Oh Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but a thieving rat? Oh, that's not nice either. Are you sharing and playing? Oh Cyril, can't you see it? Facts are, facts are facts. Squirrels can't be friends with rats. Cyril, now back on his own, tried to play their games alone. I don't think it worked. Couldn't do his puppet show. Couldn't get the bread. He had to sneak up on the pigeons. Oh, Cyril loves to skateboard. But when he tried to out one slim, things didn't go so well for him. Oh, that's fun when we get them. Past the pond. And down the slide, no time for him to try and hide, Cyril ran out of the park, run, and into the dark. In the dark, all alone and scared, poor Cyril. Not quite so alone, you stupid squirrel. <gasps> And not so brave without that rat. Ahem. Do you mean me? Said Pat. <gasps> Look. There's Pat. He's coming to save Cyril. Oh, he's about to spill with the friends as well. Lake Park still only has one squirrel. Not alone. Now Cyril lives there with a large grey rat, his brave and clever best friend Pat. So even though they were different, they're still the best of friends and they should be allowed to be the best of friends. I've got another story about different friends. This is called Colin and Lee, Carrot and Pea. And again, this is written and illustrated by Noel Radcliffe. So, not rats and squirrels this time, we've got carrots and peas. I wonder if carrots and peas can be friends. Let's see. This is 
Lee. Lee he is a P. All of his friends are P or P's. Except Colin. to be a pea and very orange. He can't roll like a pea hmm. or bounce like a pea and he isn't very good at playing hide and seek is he? Makes an excellent tower. Well, superb tower. These kinds of towers. A fantastic bridge. Looks as awesome as a bridge. And a great slide. Whee! Colin isn't at all like Lee and the other peas. Colin is likely in the other peas, is he? But they are the best of friends. So hopefully you enjoyed this series today. We had the peas and Colin and Lee Carrot and Pea, both written and illustrated by Noel Alcu and published by Two Hoots Books. And we had Cyril and Pat, written and illustrated by Emily Bravett, and again published by Two Hoots Books. So hopefully you enjoyed those stories. And if you do want to learn more about reading for empathy, visit mtlab.uk and you'll find lots more reading lists and some at home activities that you guys can do. Thanks for more information.